Fish guys, fish. Fish boys, good one too. Fish guys. Might even be a Xander. Fish guys. <laughs> Guys, we got one while trolling. Haven't seen it yet. Strong. I've not seen it. This is a nice Xander. Good Xander. Yes! Xander, boys. First fish in the new boat. It's a Xander. Check it out. Went right over a little rocky structure. And he hit it right there. There it is, boys. First fish in the new boat. Let's get a measurement on this. This one might be legal keeper size. Guys, check it out. Our first legal, he's barely 50. Our first legal Xander in the new Norman kayak. Our first fish in the new kayak right there. Xander boy, beautiful fish. Look at that guy. Nice, beautiful Xander. First fish in the Norman kayak. Right there, guys. 50 centimeter Xander. We're gonna keep him, because those are great eating. All right, guys, check it out. First keeper Xander of the year, 50 centimeters on the nose. We're gonna go ahead and keep this guy, and we are going to do a Xander catch and cook. guys welcome back to the channel my name is Logan thank you for watching so if you guys watched the last video when I introduced you to my 2021 Thunder Nordman kayak we went out I showed you a lot of the features my loadout all that sort of things if you guys did not see that make sure you guys go back and watch that uh, however one thing we did do was we caught our first fish in the kayak which was this 50 51 centimeter Xander we are going to go ahead and fillet this guy up and if you didn't know I'm on the nose of my kayak right now. These make excellent little fillet uh, cutting boards, little fillet areas. That's what I use it for sometimes. So we have our Xander. We're gonna go cut this up. I'm gonna get the two fillets. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually prepare this three different ways. I'm gonna do just the fillet, just the meat with some salt and pepper, and that's it. Then I'm gonna do a, a portion of the fillet that is just lightly breaded in some seasoned flour. And then I'm gonna do my old fashioned Frank's Red Hot Louisiana fish fry for another part of it. The thing is, is the Xander's got really white, flaky, really good meat the meat is really it's it's not overpowering in my, in my opinion it's the best eating fish here in europe germany obviously and uh anybody that's back in the states watching we have walleye this is essentially a walleye right here this is what you're looking at it's a xander but it's a european cousin it's a it's a it's essentially a walleye they do get slightly bigger they look a little bit different but for all intents and purposes it's a walleye so if you've had walleye then you, you're familiar with what these taste like so um, also, one thing that people don't know is you can eat the cheeks on this. So we're going to actually, I guess it's four ways then, right? We're going to do the cheeks. I'm going to do the, the Louisiana fish fry and Frank's flour fry and the just salt and pepper pan fry. So four different ways, I guess it is. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get in this. I'm going to fillet this guy up. We're going to then move to the kitchen, cook it up, try it. And then that'll be the video guys. So it's just a clean and cook. It's the second, it's a, it's the second part of the last video when I caught this Xander. So let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to go and flay it just like any other fish. I've already gone and gutted it. So right behind the pectoral fin, I will cut till I reach the spine. And then from there, I will turn the blade just so I'm cutting right along the spine, feeling it with your knife. And you'll be cutting through some of that spine rib cage and stuff like that. So try to keep it right along there. Maybe tilt the knife slightly at an angle, a 45 degree angle, 
so that it stays along that. And there's one seat fillet right there, boys. So let me go ahead and put this off to the side for the time being. And what I will do now And now what I'm gonna do, find a spot, tilt the blade, and I'm just gonna skin this bad boy. You can pull it towards you as you cut to get a nice clean fillet. Yeah, there's almost no meat left on that skin that's what you're looking for right there boys took it clean so i got a bag here I'm trying to keep all that stuff together that's gonna be all trash throw that in there so there is a fillet that's what it looks like guys you can see how white that is i haven't taken the rib cage out yet but you see how white and flaky that meat's going to turn out to be once you fry it up so now to get the rib cage out you want all this try to get rid of all this this is all bones right so again Find that rib line, find that bone line, turn the knife slightly at a 45 degree angle and just kind of feel along those ribs and just kind of cut, cut them out of there. My knife is not the sharpest. And there you go, boys. That is the ribs. Those are gone. And one interesting thing about walleye and Xander, right? They have these, these bones that run right here on the fillet right here the, what they call do the zipper method so you got to cut these out right here so this will actually be a f little bit of a flap because you got to cut right along here so what you do is you just you feel those bones i can feel them so cut right here down the outside edge and then i'll find those bones get rid of that And then there and those bones are gone now see how that's kind of open like that that's because you have to cut those there's a little line of bones that run in here so that fillet is ready to be cooked boys that fillet right there look how white that meat is that's what we're talking about i got a plate here there's one fillet right there boom dispose of this do not get rid of this at this point there's meat in these cheeks this is not a big xander but it'll still have some some meat in there so what i'll do is i will peel this back and right here you guys can actually feel it it's a soft fleshy area and you can actually take your knife and you cut around boom and that is actually cheek meat right there and you can pretty much just pull the skin off of that with your fingers. See how I did that? And that right there, boys, is the cheek meat, which is, it tastes like scallops. I'm just gonna pan fry that cheek and a uh, little salt, a little pepper, some butter, and that'll be it. So now we got the second cheek. Let me go ahead and get this second cheek out so we can get rid of the carcass of the fish. Second Xander fillet, boys. Clean, white, ready to be fried up. So again, 
We're gonna do one, just butter, salt, pepper in the pan. That's it, quick and easy. Just so you taste the Xander filet itself. There's no extra breading, no nothing. The Xander is so good, you don't need any of that stuff. But we will also do another part of the filet and Frank's Red Hot and um, Louisiana fish fry, and then we'll do just some flour and, and some salt, and that's it. Some seasoned salt and, and flour, and that's it. And then we have our cheeks. So there you have it, guys. Right there, there is our Xander. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take this inside, and I'll see you guys in there in the kitchen, and uh, let's get it. All right, guys, we've moved into the kitchen now, and now take a look. I've already done some prep work. We got our two fillets, the two cheeks, some seasoned flour, Frank's Red Hot, Louisiana Fish Fry, salt, pepper, some butter, and a beer. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these fillets up, start getting them prepped for the stove. I've already got some oil going here. I'm about to put some butter on the little one here. So let's go ahead and get to it. To commence i'm gonna rank these okay here's the louisiana fish fry with the franks this is just the seasoned flour and this is just the salt pepper and butter and these are the cheeks the cheeks are excluded from this but i'm gonna rank these just so it's not like oh it's good it's whatever i'm gonna rank which one i like the best best to worst first i'm gonna start off with the xander cheeks though these are a specialty the cheeks are the best part they're like almost like scalloped anyways those are the delicacy Get those done first. Those are really good. Anybody, if you catch walleye out there, they also, I think, have cheeks that you can eat. Not 100% sure, but Xander definitely do, and those are my favorite part of them. So, first, I will go, I will start with the redneck version. The good old redneck version of uh, Frank's and Louisiana fish fry. Looks good. Super white meat. And, of course... That's good. Obviously, that's my favorite way of cooking fish. If you're watching the other videos in the past, the carp catch and cook, the Wells catfish catch and cook. If not, you guys go back and watch those. That's really good. Now I will do the flour one. This is just some seasoned flour and then uh, fry it up with the, with the Louisiana and Frank's filet. So this will be number two. Now that one's good. And that one's just mainly the fish. This one, you taste a little bit of the salt from the fish fry and the franks, but this one is mainly just the filet. And it's really good. I mean, the Xander filet is really good. It's white and flaky and kind of light, but other than that, there's not much to it. So if you like just the fish taste of the Xander, it's that one. If you like a little extra bite to it, definitely this one. And now just the salt and pepper and butter filet. which is kind of like the best of both worlds, right? Because you get the Xander taste plus a little bit of salt and pepper. This one's pretty good. So if I had to rank them, 
one through three. One being the best, I got to go with my Red Deck version, Louisiana Fish Fry and Frank's. Number two would be just the salt and pepper and butter. And number three would be the flour one. Now, not that any of them are bad, but that's just how I would rank them. One, two, three, and uh, that's that, boys. If you guys like the video, make sure you guys go down and like, subscribe. We are going to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. So if you have not subscribed, make sure you guys go down and subscribe.